Uh, I'm Alfred Bobet, and I'm here with uh, Dr. Deepak Bach, who uh, just uh, presented some of the data on the SAVER trial, a, a very important and interesting trial on following cardiovascular output in diabetics. So Deepak, uh, tell us a little bit about your, your observations in the SAVER study. Sure. Well, in a nutshell, SAVER TIMI 53 was a large cardiovascular outcome study in diabetic patients, 16,492 patients with diabetes and either established cardiovascular disease or multiple risk factors randomized to saxagliptin, a DPP-4 inhibitor, that's uh, an agent that reduces glucose, or to placebo and followed for an average of 2.1 years. And the primary purpose of the trial was to demonstrate non-inferiority for cardiovascular death, MI, or stroke, the primary endpoint of the trial. And the reason for that is the FDA had mandated that all diabetes drugs be evaluated for cardiovascular safety because of this controversy with some diabetes drugs, rosiglitazone, sulfonylureas, the signals that they might increase myocardial infarction. So that was the genesis of the trial. And uh, indeed, we examined that endpoint and found no excess risk of myocardial infarction. The hazard ratio for the primary endpoint I mentioned was 1.00, so uh, no evidence of increased heart attack risk. Likewise, no evidence of cardiovascular benefit either, but you know, an intermediate term follow-up. So in, in the studies that we've, we've seen before where there was some signal but not definite proof of a cardiovascular uh, uh, adverse outcome, the trials were designed around diabetic output, glucose levels or A1C levels, and I think what we've learned is we've got to go beyond that. Your, your trial of 16,000 basically was powered to look at the cardiovascular events, and it sounds to me like we're going to need larger trials in this area if we want to see the cardiovascular outcomes. Yeah, that's an important message, not only to ensure that there isn't an MI signal, but also to look for other rare sorts of side effects. In fact, we did detect and this is one component of a secondary endpoint, but we did detect a statistically significantly higher rate of hospitalization for heart failure with the DPP-4 inhibitor versus placebo. In absolute terms, it was only 0.7%. But we did also look at pancreatitis, pancreatic cancer, other things that have been concerned in registry analyses, and what we saw was pretty reassuring. We didn't really see any safety signals there. Okay, so I think this, this confirms the idea that we have, to, we have to have the properly sized trials to come up with cardiovascular conclusions in these studies. Absolutely. Well, thank you. Thank you for that information.